guys, it's Mackety Wednesday. And welcome to the barn. Ella, come! Come on! Let's go! As we walk down the driveway to the left, we have one of the front pastures, which Mr. Chaperone is hanging out in right now. And then to the right, we have um, the other set of two front pastures. This one has Ego in it at the moment. And if you follow us down this way. Alrighty, and right next to Ego's pasture, we have the last front pasture, which has in it right now. On the other side of the pastures, we park the gooseneck four horse horse trailer right here, just up above the hill. Now down at the far side of the barn is the house that the owners own. Now let's get what you guys really came here for, the barn. Alrighty, the first place you go to when you walk right through that red door is the tack room. So here it is. And right on inside the tack room, we also have a small bathroom um, just with a toilet and a sink for anyone who may need to use it. Everybody in here has their own tack locker that is numbered and the locker that me and Miss Ruthie have is number 13. So I guess it's unlucky or lucky, whichever way you wanna look at it. Now on the side of the tack room, there is a room with all of our tools as well as the washer and dryer. And a couple of little barn cats as well. Clover. Alrighty, and if you just walk through here, we have our lounge area with several of our trophies as well as horse show ribbons. Some extra helmets, extra girths, as well as some extra bridles hanging up along this wall. Now right out this door, we head into the main barn. Alrighty, so as you guys saw, not all of the horses are inside right now. We only have a few of them inside. Um, so inside we have Cosmo and Jack. Say hello. And Jack's our little resident donkey. Let's see here. And then right on the other side of them is Mr. Tovaro. And say hi. Buddy. Hi. Go away. All right, watch out. Let's see here. Who else is inside today? All right. And then right in here we have the ponies. So we have little Casper and then Milo. Angelo's in this first stall over here, kind of taking a half snooze. He did. <laughs> and at the front of the barn, we have the wash rack with Baby Shark, also known as Lexington. <laughs> I think Baby Shark is better. <laughs> I definitely think Baby Shark is the best. And then over here we have the feed room, which you guys have seen a little bit of before. 
with all of the AM and PM feeds pre-made for tonight and tomorrow morning. Right on this mat, we also have a set of cross ties with a heater up above. So any of the horses in the winter who are cold backed can stay warm and it also really helps with winter baths for all of the ho show horses. Now when you come to the back of the barn or the front of the barn, depending on how you want to look at it, we have three outdoor wash racks or cross ties. There's a hose out here so they really can be used for either purpose. And then to the back of those we have our four bucking paddocks for turnout whenever the pastures are too wet or too muddy for the horses to go out in the larger paddocks. And back here we have our outdoor barn or our secondary barn, so to speak. And a couple of these guys are inside as well, so let's go meet them. Come here. Come here, Seaview. This is Seaview. He's one of the lesson ponies. He's also a little bit sharky. <laughs> This is Mr. Toby. He is also another one of our lesson ponies. Although she's not in right now, this is Ruthie's stall. Lucky number 13. This is Jane's other horse, Kasai. He's a big boy, but he likes to hang out in the back of the stall. And last, but certainly not least, we have the resident old man, Mr. Apricot. Back here, obviously behind me, you can kind of see that that's where the ring is, um, but back where the barn area is, we also have an area where we keep our tractor as well as the drag connected to it right up under the shed to try to keep it dry so we don't have to drive a wet tractor around all the time. And then we also have this big, huge white trailer. And believe it or not, this is actually where we store all of our hay. Ta-da! As you can imagine, it is quite a pain to climb up there and bring down bales to feed the horses, but it works out as pretty great storage. Alrighty, so we're just gonna come into the pasture and visit Mr. Patton so we can walk down to the ring. This is what we like to call our pony pasture because the smaller guys hang out out here. This is our outdoor arena, complete with jumps, and it also has a mirror down on the far end so you can check your riding whenever you need to. So the last place that we're coming to is the pastures down at the hill, starting with Mr. Flipper. He is one of Ruthie's absolute best friends. And here the sneaky girl comes herself in her honor and her grace, Miss Ruthie. You know, we couldn't end a Mackety Wednesday video without saying hi to her. Smile. Such a queen, always. Oh my goodness. And then last but not least, in the third pasture down on the hill, we have Mr. Rudy. Don't tell anybody, but we ran out of snacks. So face scratches will have to do, huh? 
Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope y'all enjoyed this barn tour and seeing where I spend the majority of our, our days and where me, Miss Ruthie and Ella hang out all of the time. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up and hit that post notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video and follow me out on my Instagram, which is at McKenzieK underscore equestrian. I would love to see some of you guys out there and don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.